Chris, I've been really excited about this. I've worked uh, uh, quite a while to pull together all these pieces. We are going to do some laser grading like a pro. There you go. Take the human element out of it. Yeah. First, we're going to show you it working. Actually going to show this laser grading tool working. And then we're going to walk through how it works and how the pieces all fit together. You'll be quite surprised at the inexpensive nature of this system. I'm, I'm really? pretty impressed with it. Wow. Yeah. Let's get started. Okay, Chris, so it's on automatic right now. You see it? You can see it hopping. Yeah. That's when it's changing its, its height. Hey folks, real quick, remember that sweet corn I planted on July 31st? Stay tuned till the very end of the video after the scripts reverse to get an update. Now we had a little high spot of dirt here, so we'll grab that. So this is just gonna constantly be changing the whole time, like right there. Yeah, now the only time we have any different than that is when we get down here where it's really high where it really needs to cut it's truly every few seconds it's making those little adjustments oh it would make them faster than that if it needs to yeah Now we get down here another 50 feet or 100 feet, you'll see where the darker soil is. Yeah. It'll actually dig in. It'll actually have to cut in. I must have it raised too high. Huh? There, there we go. See, now it's cutting in. Yeah. This thing's working perfectly. Yeah. I had to make a few adjustments. I'll maybe show you some of those as we go along here, Chris. But yeah. it's, so it's, in this, you would have to go over long stretches. If there was a lot of unevenness, you'd make several passes, and it would just be taking a little bit each time. Yeah. Ah. So then it sheds off the dirt it doesn't need. Going slower works better because it gives it time to react. I just wish it weren't so muddy. So as it's going, I see it picks up the dirt that you need to shave off, and then it sheds off in these low spots, which is what you want. Yeah, yeah. Which I was like, oh, I didn't think about it, not just cutting and dragging it all out. You're actually, it's actually putting back and making your yeah. surfaces right. Yeah, and I don't think we're going to be able to do final grade today because it's too wet. I mean, we just had a bunch of rain, Yep. and I wouldn't even be out here fiddling with it, except that I think we're getting more rain. For the next three days. <laughs> and so we may not have a chance. It's getting late fall and, uh, you know, it took me a long time to get the equipment together. And then, even then, after that, I, we had so much other stuff going on, I just didn't get around to it. I don't suppose that happens to any of you guys, right? You just don't get around to it. What, extra jobs? Yeah. yeah I don't know. <laughs> now, the box is tilted a little bit to the left. So we're really paying attention only to the left side here. And what's happening is that 
each pass here, I'm taking a little bit more. And so you'll see that right in here, it's gonna start cutting. And then there comes a point where it, it can't cut anymore or whatever, and, it, and the box kind of comes up. So at that stage, we're no longer really level, at least on this left side. We're just dragging mud. We'll drag that mud on down here to where it's higher, or where it's lower, I mean. And we'll turn loose of it. Just like that. If this were dry and tilled up, loose, you know, one trip through here would get a lot of it. But as it is, uh, we're gonna have to make a lot of trips. There it's cutting. And then I just felt it turn loose. does a pretty good job of laying out the extra dirt. You know, yeah. so it's doing a good job of feathering it. Yeah. It really is. But yeah, so in a sense, by seeing, seeing how it feathers the dirt out, that shows you that it's pretty precise. I, I think the best way to use this is to have the soil dry, run a tiller over it. Oh, that makes sense. Right, so that you've got loose dirt. Yep. And, then, and then use this thing to do that final grading uh, as you want it. So let's talk a little bit about the laser receipt or the laser transmitter that we're using down there. You can use any laser transmitter. I've always used a Topcon in the past, right? Okay. The Good problem point. with my Topcon, no problem, is it's simple to use. It's a, it's a great uh, receiver. We have it on our Amazon store, amazon.com slash shop slash tractor time with Tim if you want. The, the, the problem is, is it doesn't have an, an, uh, an easy slope. Oh, uh, so it, it's got what it call manual slope, but when I try to use the manual slope, it's it's really hard for me to to get it set. It's meant for level. Nice. It's, laser. it's for the perfect yard already. <laughs> <laughs> this laser transmitter that I'm that I'm trying now is from Canamec, and it actually allows me to set a percentage slope. Um, I don't have any slope set in it today because I, I don't have much slope here. And so I think for the first pass here, I'm just going to try to get this relatively level. Yeah. Um, but it allows me to actually set a slope and, and push a button to, to change the degrees of slope. And I think that'll be perfect for what we're doing. So that's, that's the laser transmitter. Any will do. If they do slope, that's even better. Box blade. So now we have a pull type box blade. For this system, it has to be a pull type. Right, it can't be a three-point hitch mount. Because you have to have somewhere to hang your receiver. It needs to know where you're at. Yeah, but it also has to have these hydraulics. Yep. Yep. It, it has to have something that's going to lift this that's not the three-point hitch. So this one has a raise and a tilt. Now, we're going to try to put another post over here oh. and control the tilt at the same time. Nice. Uh, I don't have the hardware and plumbing to do that today so I just want to show you the basic I also thought it would be confusing if I had two of them up here at the same time yep. but we intend to do that in the future but this box blade I got it from c5manufacturing.com it's tough it's huge and I I, I think uh, for the 1025R, just like it is, this is this is what I would need. I, at first, I thought I might want some scarifiers, but for the purposes I'm using it for, I don't think I do. I think I want to use a tiller and, and have loose dirt I'm working yeah. with. I don't think I want to work with And in your, in your case, if you add the till, you already have the ability, you've got, you still have openings there. Yeah. Yeah. In fact, uh, there's two <laughs> valves used. That's kind of transitions up here. So we got the box blade, four hoses, that means two valves. This is the Summit Hydraulic Kit that we've shown several times on this channel, yeah. right? You've seen it on, oh, our, yeah. on our video that we introed it early in the spring, and then we've, we've shown it a few more times. It's uh, electric on-off valves um, to the power beyond on any kind of tractor, right? It doesn't have to be a, a, a deer. Yeah. yeah, it's universal. Right. We've got the hose links set for 1025R, but we have found through some other people that have, that have used it that it's working well on a 2038R, it works well on 
uh, some other brand tractors as well. So this is a kind of a general purpose solution that doesn't require any difficult plumbing as long as you have your Power Beyond kit. The only change we've made here is that we've disconnected the regular switch here. Yep. And I've actually plugged in this new yellow cable here and that allows our new laser box to control the system. So up here we have the receiver. It's interesting, I'm actually mounted on the opposite side. The laser transmitter's down there and I'm still able to see it. Right. So what makes these receivers for attachments you know, like this to work really well is they really got a 360 Wrap degree around. view. Yeah, and I, I mounted it up here so I could see the lights ah. to make sure it was yeah. working. Now I have another uh, duplicate of those lights there, but they were a little harder to see on the, on the actual box. One cable that runs from the attachment to the unit, I have way too much cable obviously, it runs up here to this unit up here. There's three cables run into this unit. One's power, one is to the hydraulics, and one is to the sensor. Reader. Yeah. It looks like those are all kind of a military style connector. Mil spec connectors. Yep. This is professional stuff. Yeah. People are already asking, they're saying, I, yeah, this is all great, Tim, but I can't afford this, right? This hydraulic valve, if you get the two or three valve version, I think you're in a thousand dollar range. Yep. The box blade, I have no idea with steel prices right now, you'll have to talk to C5 Manufacturing, but it will be under $2,000, I believe, with the complete with lift and tilt hydraulically. The kit for all of this laser equipment here is about $2,000. You get this, you also get a TTWD discount, so it may be a little less than $2,000 yet, but the point is, all of this stuff added to a 1025R is $5,000. It's yeah, not cheap. It's not cheap, but again, if you know you have more people who are kind of breaking into doing a little bit of side work and stuff, this is the kind of thing people would like. This is professional grade, and I don't know of a less expensive solution. or even close to solution. this price solution to this problem. And you know, we get a lot of viewers that say, "Hey, I, I don't really want to move from the 1025R. This is this is my work. I want to be able to do grading work with people." I well. We're showing it now on a 1025R, and you can step into it, right? I mean, you can get the box blade, you can get each of these pieces separately, and then you can, you can use a laser transmitter with a stick for a while until you can afford to add the rest, the rest of this. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I am really excited about this system. I don't know how you do this without a system like this. Tell me how you take a thousand foot run and put a grade in it. Well. The only thing you can do before this is with a stick, yep. right? So you have to have another person there and go over and over. Christy is usually that person. She she, she goes out She's there and she tells me, that. you know, down a little more here, down a little more here. And uh, it's it's but very from, time consuming. Yeah, I can say this has to be a lot quicker. And to be honest, this will do a better job than you can do yes. by hand. There's no, yes. no doubt about it. Now, what we see here is this $2,000 laser system that I talked about, if you want to try to do the tilt as well, what I would do is another pipe, right? And I would have another receiver. And if I want to tilt one way or the other, I would just put this receiver higher or lower okay. on that second pipe. Yep. And then both of them will work together, at least in theory. I haven't tried it yet. I'm going to try it at some point. The additional cost for that would be one additional $2,000 kit. Okay. So it would cost you $2,000 more to do the automatic tilt. Meanwhile, you could use the manual tilt, right? Yeah. And still, and still control one side of your blade for height, but control the, the tilt manually. Um, that's another approach as well. I know this episode's probably running long. I, I, I hope I've described it pretty well. I'm crazy excited about this yeah. because I think it brings an, a whole dimension to small tractors that we've never had before. I, I don't know of anybody else that's tried to, to actually demonstrate laser equipment that's at least slightly affordable yeah. to the small business like, like what we've done here. And it's well within the capability of the tractor? It's fine as long as the soil's loose. Yes. Right? Yeah. Well, we, we all know that mud means stuck. <laughs> so. so what it looks like now after I've kind of done what I'm gonna do with the pull-type box blade, I've got it level all the way from here to the far end. I did some work over here on the sides too to, to get that a little bit better. I think I could continue to work with the box blade and get this leveled up where I'd be very happy with it. But since I have the power rake, I'm gonna go ahead and use that just to, just to get a little better touch on it. It's a little easier. Um, 
once you have the tool, you might as well use it. It's made perfectly for this. But that pull type box blade is a lot easier for me to use for a grading than a three point. It just kind of scoots along there. I, I really like that. I think it's looking good. I think we're ready for seed. I'm not sure I'm gonna keep my hat. It's so windy. Rain's coming pretty soon. Hopefully we can get it seeded before the rain gets here. I had no idea I would get this done today. It was too muddy, I thought, and uh, I wasn't gonna be able to till it. I didn't till it. The pull type box blade with the laser level worked a lot better than what I thought. It went a lot faster than I thought. I didn't have as much uh, grade. I mean, I knew I, from the start to the finish I didn't have any grade, but I thought that I had six or eight inches maybe to take off in the middle. Uh, the eye sometimes makes it really hard to tell uh, what, what the grade is, and by putting that laser there and having that box blade on it, it, it made that all much easier. Got the power rake out. It looks fabulous. The cedar did uh, the last of the leveling, and then I just drove over it with those duals. Hopefully get some of that seed compressed there to come up. Folks, I hope you've enjoyed this. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments section. Um, we will put links in the description as to where to get all of these pieces. They all plug together. For instance, if you go to Canamec, you and, and tell them that you're working with us on this system, they will provide you the exact plugs that will fit into this Summit kit. This thing is plug and play. You can get all three pieces and they will all work well together. Three separate vendors, but brought together here. This is another example of Tractor Time with Tim. With Tim. There you go, Design. make sure they use that discount. Yep. Don't miss out on it. <laughs> <laughs> Code TTWT, canamec.com, c5manufacturing.com, summithydraulics.com slash TTWT. Use code TTWT at all of those places. Actually, I think you have to call and talk to somebody for this one, but. Well, we'll get them. We'll get them lined up. They'll get yeah. it figured out. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time on Tractor, Tractor time, time with Tim. Tim. Hey, it's time for a follow-up segment. You know, I planted some of that sweet corn July the 31st. Here it is. I haven't been out to check it out. I noticed that the bottom leaves are browning on it and they were browning quite early so let's shuck one here and see how it comes out the silks look great oh my goodness hey the ears aren't big but that's pretty well ready to eat